What up, YouTube? I don't know if you can hear me or not. You more than likely can. Hopefully I didn't just hit the wrong button. Anyhow, today we're going to spray Nova. And that's for powder mildew prevention. If you have powder mildew already and you're not in flower, it's completely awesome to spray it. What I do is I fill up my one gallon pump sprayer. So all you have to do is get the leaves dripping wet. You don't need to get under the leaves. You don't need to fully cover the plant. You just need to basically make it simulate a rain on top of the plants. You want to do 1.25 grams of Nova powder in one gallon of fresh water pH to 5.7. This will allow the plants to take that systemic nova into their system and it will live in the plant for 45 days after your final application. First application, you do exactly what I say. You mix the 1.25 grams into the 1 gallon of 5.7 pH water. If you need to use more, that's the calculations for the one gallon mix. You do that one time, and then exactly one week later, you do the exact same thing. You don't need to spray again until ever, okay? Spraying it the second time in the week, the second week, ensures the plant gets all of it and it brings it to life within the plant. It will stay alive in your plant for 45 days. That's good enough for most seven, eight week strains. You don't have to worry about any powder mildew. Okay, so don't even worry about decums, nothing other than for bud run. Your powder mildew, the rooms you usually have powder mildew in, you will never have it again. As long as you do this before you flip them every time. I'm doing it late, but I know these plants won't produce any bud for at least seven days. So this is the first day of flower. I got my green light on here. I got my pesticide rated mask. I don't have any eye protection, but I'm not using a fogger for this because I don't need to completely surround the plant and saturate the plant. I just need it to drip off of the leaves. That's all I got to do. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to try and set this up in here. I don't know if it's going to show up. Sorry, I got somebody messaging me. All right, I'm going to try and set this up here somewhere where you can see me. Hopefully it works. I don't know if it will because I don't have anything in here to really... Oh, maybe if I... Oh, here we go. Let me just unplug this fan first because it vibrates a lot, but we can actually can actually use it to uh, show you what I'm going to do here. Now, sorry about the lighting. Once I get my uh, overhead on, my uh, my actual headlight lamp here. Okay, where is it? Well, I got a new one here. Okay, it'll make it a lot better. Hopefully, you can see that pretty good. I'm going to try and get this phone propped up here because that's what I'm using is a phone. I don't think that's going to capture it. Let me see here. Not exactly. Alright. Give me a moment. I'll find something to prop up with. Let's see if this trick works. Not actually, it's not going to work for this one. Hey, it might. It might actually work. Hold on.
right, I had to make a little uh, camera stand, and I hope it works. Looks like it's going to work. If I can just get it to you. Stay in its little holder here. I hope it's going to work. All right, now, try and get it to focus back there. You won't be able to hear me very well, but you will be able to see me. So I've got my Nova in my spray bottle. My pump sprayer is shaking up really well. As you can see, these girls just went to sleep. Alright, I'm only going to say this once. In this video, it's very, very, very important to spray your plants as soon as the lights go out. You don't want to do it before they come on, because they're going to be still wet. You want to do it as soon as those lights go out, wait 20, 30 minutes, and then spray the shit out of them. So they have those 12 hours to dry out before your lights come on. Doesn't matter what it says on the bottle. Never listen to the bottle. Spray with lights off only. Spray as soon as your lights go off, or as soon as you can to when the lights turn off. That way they got all that time to dry out. I'm going to start at the back of the room and work my way forward.
that concludes that video. Gotta plug the fan back in and get out of here. I don't know why they put the strobe in there. I guess for people just tripping balls when they're doing work. But I would not advise doing drugs and then trying to work in a garden. That's no good for anybody. Especially whoever owns the garden. If it's not your own. And it's going to dump my leftover water down the drain. Hopefully the camera picked up everything I said. Always make sure every like 30 seconds or so to give your uh, pump sprayer a shake or any fog or any, any reservoir. Give it a shake if you got stuff in there you got to mix up. Because it will settle to the bottom after a while and you'll be spraying unevenly basically. Some plants will get more of uh, what you're trying to spray on them than others. And that kind of defeats the purpose of uh, spraying a whole room. Alright, that's done. Thanks for watching. Peace. And uh, I got a rock here as it's weighing down my camera stand. Alright, we're back in here. Oh my god. Peace. And pot. Peace and pot, baby. Canadian cannabis culture. One crop at a time, baby. One crop at a time.